welcome back to the channel and welcome back to uh, another quick pick prediction video. So another quick pick prediction video. In this one, we have a boxing bout, a boxing super fight between um, Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia at, <clears throat> at 136. So this is a pretty good fight right here, a super fight. And um, who I see in this one, I'm going to go average confidence, Javante Davis to beat um, Ryan Garcia. So um, while I'm leaning um, Tank here, while I'm picking Tank to win, I just feel like he's the, the more fundamental striker. I mean, we're not the more fundamental striker, but the, the more fundamental boxer. I feel like he's the better technique. I feel like he has better defense. I feel like um, Ryan Garcia, he kind of just more flash. He has good speed. No, he'll have that speed advantage. He had that length. He had those snappy hooks. But I feel, you no, know, you can even see his flaws in the way he hits mitts. I mean, like hits mitts. You can see his flaws in the way he hits the heavy bag. Like he be doing punches, be closing the eyes and pushing his lips out, pushing the air out. And every time he those hooks, he closes his eyes and like puckers his lips. You know, that's the same tendency. Like he does shots and he leaves himself open. Like I said, the same way you train, the same way you fight. And I feel like that's a big opening um, in Ryan Garcia. And I feel like Davis is just like I said, more fundamentally, like his defense is sharper. Ain't like a big open. Like every single time he do hook, his chin wide open on the side. I said, you're going to have those opportunities. I feel like Ryan Garcia is going to be looking for Like, we really commit to shots a lot of times, your defense will not be there a lot of times. Like, you're just that true fundamental guy that's like, he's all, everything is always in the right place. And I'm not going to say either guy is that, like, neither guy is that super fundamental, like, perfect technique or just pure textbooks. Like, every single time they do this, like, a big power shot, their, their um, idle hand is defending, like, or their rear hand is defending. It's like, that's not either guy. But especially not Ryan Garcia. I feel like Ryan Garcia is ever rarely ever truly defending himself. Like I feel like a lot of times we start, to, especially when we start to get comfortable out there, start to let his hands go. Those, those hands be anywhere but his chin, or anywhere near anywhere but near his chin to block. So this is definitely open. And I feel like Javante Davis can exploit. And I also feel like Javante Davis, you know, as he tends to do, like he's a little tank. He's a tiny tank. He'll stay out there. He'll take a little bit of damage on the arms and stuff. Not really taking too much flush like that. But even then, if he needs to take it, he'll take it. But again, take it on the arm pretty well. Take it on the body a little bit well. And then um, eventually start to find those openings that you're going to leave there. And those openings will be there for um, him as well. A, a lot with Ryan Garcia. It would probably be, the issue probably be the speed and also the threat of the hook. So you're while you're looking, you got to be worried about that hook as well. Or those hooks as well. But, um, again, the openings are there. And I think eventually he'll be the final. Like I said, it's going to be a good fill-out process. I feel like he'll have the better technique, the better jab, the better the footwork, better defense, better offense. It is more cleaner, polished, everything kind of running in sequence and supporting one another. And then and, um, it's a fight where it's on. Like, those openings will appear for um, um, Devontae Davis. I'm not saying he's going to be giving a rounds. He's not going to be giving a rounds. He's going to be... I feel like all boxing, Ryan Garcia, a lot of one popping with the jab, catching with hooks. But I feel like, you know, when it comes time to turn that light off, I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to play into, um, with the style and the patterns of a Tank Davis fight, a Javante Davis fight, where, like I said, kind of like a slow, well, not a slow start, but as far as him, like, it's going to come out, he gonna, it's not going to be him come out the gate, drop um, Ryan Garcia and slide him, like, slide him underneath the ring. It ain't going to be that. It's probably be first fill out round, probably real dry first round. Maybe Ryan Garcia try to do something. But I feel like Javante Davis is gonna come out there. He's not gonna come out there and just come in there looking sloppy. I feel like that might happen with Ryan Garcia. He might try to come out and just try to make a statement or try to get something fair or get a reaction out of um, Tank. But I feel like Tank gonna come in there. He's gonna come like he typically is, like a tank. And assess the things, catch things on the guard on the guard, like I said. And then get a feel for his opponent's timing and start to set up counters, set up his own shots to see what's opening. And yeah, over the course of the fight, he's going to find, get that timing down. And it's going to be like six rounds, six, seven rounds, say six round for um, Javante Davis. He's going to be able to find the shots. Probably really in the fifth, he's going to start to hurt um, Tank. I mean, start to hurt um, Ryan Garcia, like in the fifth round, fourth, fifth round. And then the sixth round, he's going to finish, put him away. I think fourth, fifth round, he might get a drop in both of those rounds, but in the sixth round, it where that all oh, that's going to accumulate, and then you're going to have a hurt, wounded um, Ryan Garcia in that sixth round. And you know, typically when you hurt by Tank, it is like it's just inevitable. He start walking down, he starts to let his hands go, the combination start coming slick and smooth, and his opponents have no answer. And again, a guy like Ryan Garcia, who already don't really have the best footwork or the best defense, 
it just really kind of relies on the hooks and speed and length. I think um, Javante Davis is going to be able to catch him, and I feel like Garcia's hands are going to get not like when he's going to be hurting damn, probably going to be breathing hard, probably going to be just cert, like, you know, just trying to skip around the ring a little bit, just trying to walk around the ring and just get himself a hand probably by his hips, probably trying to swing sloppy hooks and just get caught with like an overhand and get sat on his butt out cold six round Javante Davis. So in this one, I got Javante Davis via six round TKO.